G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a Cam Rui mini PC. Now this one, what have we got? 16 gig of RAM, 512 gig of storage, two AU specs. And these are little all-in-one PCs. Which are definitely kind of cool. Definitely like them. I do find it weird here. For a faster setup, avoid Wi-Fi or LAN initially. May, cause, may trigger long updates and delay access desktop. Do you find that rather interesting? Plastic top, plastic bottom, plastic sides. What do we have? Power, audio, USB, USB type C. Four USBs, a display port, HDMI, and power. So a decent amount. This one's got a Ryzen 7 6800H. 512 gig of RAM, it's a H1 model. And right now, not bad, not bad at all. Definitely like it. Put that off to the side and see what else we get. Presumably an AU power cable. Bingo. Mickey Mouse plug over here. What have we got? A 65 watt power adapter hit right here. Not bad, not bad. Pull that out of the way. Very tiny HDMI cable. I'm assuming a Visa mount bracket. Well, that would be my guess on this. A little bit of these screws here as well. Down the side, have the manual. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, there's my suspicions. I'm curious to see what the cooling's like inside here. I believe we're going to take off these feet. There's a slight gap there, so I'm not sure if it comes off as one piece. It does almost look like a pry tab. But I'm curious to see what's under these feet to begin with. Pry under there. Lift up. What do we get? One screw. Two screw. Three screw. Four screw. Now I've got a triple a zero Phillips head screwdriver here. And let's see what we see. These are un or coming out extremely easy. Now which part comes apart? Top or bottom? Nope. Nope. I feel like that is a price spot. Yes, we are. And we are in. What do we have? 16 gig of generic unknown brand of RAM. Price up. Huh. The thermal pad under there. Being directly under the AP or GPU doesn't really surprise me. What do we have? PC5 3800S. I'm not sure what that converts to in speed. It's definitely a brand I can't say I've come across before. Uh, we'll put that back in. Do make the notch, make sure the notch lines up. There and push down. Now, another brand of SSD that I'm not familiar with. Under this screw here, and lift that up, wiggle it back, and we're out. Yeah, not too many details on that one. Fold this around. I'm not even sure what particular Wi-Fi model. CD Tech. I'm definitely not familiar with those guys, but I do like how the CMOS battery is right here. What do we have? I'm assuming that's the plug, the power plug going up to here, DC jack. I do like how we have two NVMe drives right there and how they've chosen not to put the boot one over the top of it. So, not bad, not bad. Relatively workable. I'm curious to see what the fan's like, but I'm not really going to dig that far to find that out. But so far, pretty impressed with the build quality. 
especially the price that you can purchase these on special for. I'm pretty happy with that overall. Now, not sure what meant to be held on there. Uh, which way do we go that way? I'm pretty sure. Let's potentially head upgrade the RAM and SSD in your particular drive, in your H1. Nice. No, I must be mistaken. It must be rotated slightly. There we go. Yep, that's it. The little gap is at the back. Slide this in. Tighten that up. Excellent. Great. Go. 